Hey guys, today in this video I'm gonna do some dumplings. I love all kind of dumplings. Ferment this fermented dough, no fermented dough, whatever. It's so delicious and uh, the thing is you can put everything what you want for the filling. You can do with meat, without meat and uh, if you're new in this channel I do everything with uh, sourdough and let's get started to do some sourdough dumplings. First things we need to do our dough. For this we'll need uh, 275 grams of all-purpose flour, 60 grams of cornstarch and 10 grams of sugar. Mix together all uh, dry ingredients. Next we'll need 70 grams of uh, ripe sourdough starter, 180 milliliter of uh, water. How you see, I use my hands for mixing my dough. If you have stand mixer, you are free to use it because it's gonna be much more faster. Mix it together until the water is completely absorbed and after leave it for 30 minutes to rest. And after 30 minutes, uh, add five grams of salt and 50 grams softened butter. This part I find it most hardest part uh, because it seems uh, your butter never will get together with dough. But don't worry, just uh, keep going and everything will be fine. When you have a beautiful smooth uh, dough, put it uh, on your counter and uh, knead it a couple minutes. After put your dough into a bowl and let it ferment until it uh, doubled in size. It takes about um, three to four hours. It depends on your room temperature. While waiting our dough, we can do our filling. About filling, I will show my own uh, version, but you can do everything what you want. You can put uh, with meat, without meat, it's up to you. For the filling I'm using 30 grams of ginger and 2 or 3 cloves of garlic. I need to cook my filling and I'm using here olive oil and starting with my garlic and ginger. It takes only 30 seconds and after I put my ground beef here about 250 grams I'm I need to cook until it changes in, in color and after I put 80 grams of uh, cabbage and let it cook maybe two and three minutes after you can put some salt pepper some some spices uh, here I use little bit of cumin and that's it and after we need it uh, make it cool and put uh, final ingredients I am gonna use plus uh, one tablespoon of soy sauce and um, green onion about green onion it's optional if you like it you can put if you don't like um, you can skip it after six hours my dough was ready and from this dough we can do about 10 uh, dumplings. In the end of this recipe we need to steam our dumplings and for this um, we're gonna use uh, special dishes for this but also uh, there is other option if you don't have you can just cook it in steam basket you can find in every grocery shop 
especially it's useful when you have little kitchen and only about like one or two person but if you have big family and uh, this recipe if you will do one you're gonna do it again and again and i suggest you just uh, buy this special dish it's hard to find in the normal shop you can find in um, chinatown for sure and of course in amazon when you will finish with uh, shaping your dough let it um, rest plus uh, 30 minutes before cooking we need to cook 25 minutes and after 25 minutes uh, 5 minutes uh, uh, without the uh, lid and in total it takes 30 minutes as I mentioned uh, here are two ways to cook first one of course the normal dishes for dumplings uh, the, it comes with several levels you can cook a lot and second one this basket for the basket the steam basket please take care not to burn yourself and in the end i want to tell you thank you for watching this video i hope it was useful for you and if you are interested about sourdough or kyrgyz french cuisine please you can subscribe to my channel and see you later in next video guys bye